All right, my friends, here we go with another fantastic Reddit tip. <laughs> this one actually is going to be very quick. It's a very quick tip because there's not much to say, but I am going to show you a couple examples of what I'm talking about so that you can actually do it. All right. This video is not to scale. Okay. And it's a good thing too, that you don't want, if you put a view onto one of your sheets and it says the scale at the bottom and you're like, well, this is actually like a 3D view that I drew up in my, like a drafting view, kind of to show a connection of how the flashing's going to work. And I did it in 3D. Or maybe I brought in, maybe it is a, um, maybe it's a little piece of signage or maybe it is a, uh, another example, a photo, a photograph. Those, none of those are to scale, actually. They're kind of just arbitrary, but they give information that's important, but they're not to scale. But when you put them on your sheet, it says three inch equals a foot or one inch equals a foot, whatever. And you don't want it to say that. If you want it to say not to scale, I'm going to show you right now how to do that. Bing! Here we go. All right, let me share my screen. Share my screen with you, my friends, all my friends around the world who are watching this crazy video. Okay, here we go. Let's go to, let's see, where are we gonna start? Let's go to 3D. Let's just say, here we are in 3D, okay? This is our beautiful, I'm gonna uncrop it here. So I'm talking normal view. Now, here's something cool you need to know. If you have a 3D view and you drag it onto a sheet, it's not going to show the scale. Revit knows it. Revit knows that it's 3D. So it won't. So watch. Like, so if I show the cropping region on this one, okay, right around the building right there, and I crop it, cr uh, crop view. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's my beautiful view that I've kind of, oh, that's perfect. That should go on like the title block. Let me just show you. I'm going to come down here to la, 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 cover sheet. Okay. And here on my cover sheet, place 3D image here. I'm going to place a 3D image. I put that in my um, template so that I remember to do it. <laughs> okay. Here is my 3D view. I can drag it and I can drop it, bam, on my cover sheet so that everybody can see what the building's looking like, okay? And you could get rid of that. But look, take a look, 3D view. It doesn't, it, it doesn't have the scale. It knows, Revit knows when you put a 3D view onto your sheets, not to show the scale. That's just across the board. Let me just tell you that, okay? But not everything you wanna put on a sheet is a 3D view. I'm going to give you a quick a couple examples. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to open up. Okay, look, here's some interior signage. Let's just look at it, okay? We've got some exit signs, and they've got some dimensions on them and all, but they may not be exactly accurate, and they're just kind of given the basic dimensions, but this sheets, this view is set up, and it says three inch equals a foot. And that may or may not be accurate for this view. And so I'm going to show you how to get this onto a sheet. Let's just say this is not exactly three inch equals a foot. It's that's not to scale. These numbers are not to scale. So I don't want people to hold me to it. So watch this. Wait for it. Here we go. Good. This is just one example. I'm going to open up a sheet. Let's just go to interior elevations. Okay. Let's just say I want to put. I'm gonna go take my in, interior signage. I'm gonna put it right on that sheet. Now, when I place it on the sheet, it sure enough says whatever the view scale is. I'm like, no, 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 it's not three and a half. So here's how you deal with that. You go back to the view. So when you're in the view and you're looking down here at all the different scales you can switch this to, I want you to go all the way to the top, all the way up and click custom, okay? 
And you don't worry about the ratio. You worry about this guy right here. You check that box and it says display name. And this is what it's going to write down underneath. But I'm going to have it display something different. Not, oops, capital, not to scale. Okay. And take a look down in the bottom corner. It says not to scale already. And now when I go to my cover sheet, not my cover sheet, my interior details, my interior elevations, look at this. Look at that. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. That is, it says not to scale there. So that's how you do it. Let me give you another quick example. I have a um, photographs. Sometimes you go out and you take existing photographs of your projects. You bring them into a drafting view so that you can put them onto a sheet. So I went and took a photo of the existing, look at this. I made a drafting view of existing conditions. And so here's the existing conditions. All you do is bring the photo, you just um, you create yourself a, a drafting view and you insert photo and it's right there, okay? And you can drag the corners to make it any size you want. And you can put annotation on here and point at things if you want to. And so there's my existing photo. So now I'm gonna go down to a sheet. I'm just gonna open up, I don't know, 3D representation sheet, whatever. Let's say I want it on this sheet. So all I gotta do is come here. Mm -hmm. Go to my existing conditions photo. It's a drafting view and drag it and place it on the sheet. And look at that. It says one inch equals a foot. No, 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 it's not. This thing is not to scale. It's a photograph. But see, Revit doesn't know that. So I just go back to the view. Back to the view. You click down here on the scale. And you go all the way to the top. Check the little box for display name. And in this box, you change it to not to scale. Some people write NTS, but why not just write it out, huh? Not to scale. Okay. And it says it at the bottom. And what if I go back to my sheet? Yeah, look at that, not to scale. Okay, this is a very quick, easy, um, I'm just gonna go right to there. The, this is an easy Revit tip. I just wanted you guys to know how you can get that to say not to scale right there on your, um, on any views that you bring in that you know that you create, that you know the scale is off and you wanna write not to scale on them. Anyway, that's about enough of that. That's all I wanted to say today. You guys have a fantastic day. And until we meet again, happy reveting. Bye-bye.